Now at noon, two separate deadly wrecks, one involving motorcycles where a rider was killed and his bike was stolen. But we start with a hit and run crash. Two people are dead. A third is in the hospital. Troopers say the runaway driver is in custody. The two men were killed early this morning after troopers say a driver rear ended their car. Thanks for joining us. I'm Justin Mormouth and I'm Kirsten O'Connor in for Bridget Ellison. The crash was breaking on the morning news. It was so bad that it shut down lanes of South Orange Blossom Trail near Taft Byland Road and News 6's Ezzy Castro has been on the scene all morning and explains what happened. Troopers spent about five hours here on South Orange Blossom Trail investigating a deadly crash that killed two people. They say the person who caused the crash tried to run away, but deputies were able to catch him. This was the scene overnight on South Orange Blossom Trail near Taft Byland Road. Troopers say it was right after 3 o'clock this morning when the driver of this silver Mercedes rear-ended this red Toyota Camry, killing two men and seriously injuring a woman. According to the crash report, the driver was identified as 33-year-old Michael Plattner. They believe Plattner was speeding before hitting the Camry, which was trying to make a U-turn to go southbound on Orange Blossom Trail. Investigators say Plattner ran away after the crash, but was caught by an Orange County Sheriff's canine. Right now, troopers are looking into surveillance video to investigate and see how fast Plattner was going. We also learned Plattner had a long history of traffic issues. Troopers say he was with a female passenger at the time of the crash. She was taken to the hospital as well. Now the investigation on this crash is still ongoing. As for Plattner, more charges could be pending. In Orange County, Ezzy Castro getting results, News 6.